everyone and welcome to today's General Hospital Recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. Really good episode today, so let's get right to it. Uh, let's start off with Anna. Was she at the Metro Court? I don't know where she was, but she was somewhere and she wants to talk She calls Patrick and wants to talk about what happened with Emma and then she drops her purse and her medication falls out It's actually an herbal supplement and once you know dr. Andre Maddox is there and picks up her medication for her so it's um, He tries to get her to talk to him again and he kind of warns against self-medicating because he says it can lead to like, you know, going to worse things than an herbal supplement. Not that herbal supplements are good, but like it can lead to, you know, whatever. Um, she shuts him down though, and he really does want her to address her guilt. Then at the quarter mains, Liz, Liz barges in and asks Michael and Sabrina if they've seen Jason. Mostly just Michael, but Sabrina was there, and I feel like that's worth noting. Um, Michael says uh, no, and then he has to leave. Uh, Sabrina sees that Liz is worried that when Jason comes back, he won't come back to her. And Sabrina attempts to empathize because if anyone knows what it feels like to be in this situation, it's Sabrina. And Liz says their situations are different, and Elizabeth says she's going to make sure it works out out the way she wants because that's not ominous at all then at the police station valerie apparently tripped a suspect on purpose and it's going to put da dante's badge at risk but that's like drama for two seconds um but dante is going to leave her name out of the report to protect her Ooh, i'm so excited uh so dante reads the email valerie sent and starts the email back but he doesn't finish the email and basically she sent him a thanks for last night. It felt so natural and that, 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 that. And just not, not good if you're taking it out of context. Which, why wouldn't you? But anyway, uh, Michael comes by and tells Dante the corporate espionage charges will probably get reinstated. And Jason gave him the power of his shares so he can force Nicholas out. Now, back at the Metro Court, the restauranty part. Uh, Maxie is making crimson calls. Lulu comes in and tells Maxie Dante and Valerie were together last night. Uh... She tells Maxie about seeing them in the car, and Maxie doesn't want her to jump to conclusions. Lulu doesn't want to ask Dante about it because she doesn't believe a word he says. So Maxie suggests looking at his emails. Uh, apparently Spinelli put a program on her computer, uh, and she can get into people's email accounts because that's power that Maxie needs right so they see the email Valerie just sent Dante saying thanks for last night and again the whole thing sounds very incriminating and Lulu leaves and then once you know Valerie shows up at the Metro Court to get breakfast and Maxie confronts her Maxie tells Valerie about the email they saw and that Lulu saw Valerie and Dante together last night and Maxie says you know that email making sure his wife would find out like that's such a home wrecking move uh, back at the police station, Michael tells Dante he knows he made a mistake and that he, you know, he's not some serial cheater. And then Lulu walks in not very happy. Uh, Michael leaves. Lulu confronts Dante about her and Valerie being cuddled up in his car and their ongoing affair. Uh, she's not trying to be subtle in the middle of the squad room. And she brings up the email Valerie sent. So Dante gets her going to gets her to go into the interrogation room. He says he was stopping her from admitting to a felony in a public space, aka hacking into someone's email. And Dante says uh, Valerie was along for a ride along, and that Lulu is pushing this too far. And I'm like, first of all, first of all, okay, Lulu. Lulu messed up looking at his emails. You know, she's she's jumping to the wrong conclusions and she made a scene, uh, whether it's warranted or not. I'm like, make as many scenes as you want, Lulu. But meanwhile, back a few months ago, he jumped to the wrong conclusions, went to Canada, couldn't even be bothered to confront her, came back and slept with someone. So... Like, I feel like he's in no position to judge. Like, Lulu could probably, like, murder someone right now, and he wouldn't be in a position to judge. <laughs> Maybe that's a little too far. But you know what I mean? Like, you can't condemn someone for doing the same thing you did. Like, and he did worse. So, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, but in Portland, yay, Portland. Um, I think it's amazing that Jason was able to drive cross country to Portland on a motorcycle in one night. 
Um, ma- the magic time vortex that is General Hospital. Uh, but Jason is in Portland and he's seeing Spinelli and Ellie and Georgie aren't there. And Spinelli's like, oh, I really want you to meet Georgie. Uh, Spinelli says he has some really... Oh, Spinelli says some really nice things about Jason. Um, but, you know, he understands that Jason doesn't remember. And Jason gives all the credit to Spinelli uh, for finding out who he is. And now he wants to reclaim his old life. You know, his, you know, what he had. Uh, So Jason apologizes for dumping all this work on him. And Spinelli tells him he saved his life more than once or more times than he can count. And befriended him when he was antisocial and gave him a chance to build a rich life in the real world. And it's just so sweet. Just really sweet. Uh, So Jason says he loves Elizabeth, but he can't ignore the vows he made with Sam. And he knows no matter what, there's going to be a good woman hurt at the end of all this. And I'm like, no, there's not. No, you know, because if he finds out that Elizabeth has known practically the whole time who he was and was with- withholding it so that she could hold on to him, all this would melt away. Maybe that's going to be the turning point that makes him remember how awesome Sam is. Just saying. Um, so Spinelli pushes the fact that he found, fa- you know, he found all his friends and family. Um, you know, he befriended Carly and Jason's like, no, no, no. Carly befriended me. Like, there's a di- there's a difference. <laughs> it's so true. Um, but Jason, you know, that his instincts are intact and that he, like, knows people. Uh, so he just needs to trust his instincts. And then the computer beeps and they have a location on Helena. Uh, Helena is on Cassadine Island and they get her, like, specific location and, like, room number. Um, and Jason asks him to find a vantage point and roof access points. And he says just like Jason, and that's not lost on Spinelli, because Spinelli's like, we used to work together like this. And, like, you know, we're finding our rhythm. And I'm like, yes, rhythm. Get rhythm when you get the blues. That was an old clogging song I used to do. Uh, at Patrick's, uh, Sam tells Patrick Jason is going after the Cassadines and is going to need backup, and he knows she wants to go to help. Patrick says she only wants him. She only wants Jason to need her, and Jason doesn't actually need her. Uh, Sam makes the case that Jason saw her for her when she first came to Port Charles, because when she first came to Port Charles, she would have been someone that Patrick wouldn't even look twice at, you know. Um, and he helped her become the person she is today and that she found her way to Patrick. And Patrick says if she goes, then he doesn't know what that means for them and then leaves. So Liz is back at Patrick's house because she has nothing better to do with her life. And asks Sam if she's heard from Jason. And Sam tells Liz she's going to chase after him. And Liz wants her to respect their relationship and leave Jason alone. And I'm like, please, please, please. Um, so Sam says Liz fell in love with an idealized version of Jason that she created in her head. Like, Jason was never going to be the person that works nine to five. Like, I kind of am recalling, um, back a while ago when Elizabeth thought she might get Jason back with that whole Danny thing. And, like, there was this scene where, like, she imagined him as an artist and, like, them living together. And, like, she's just, she's in love with who she wants Jason to be and not who he actually is. Um, But, yeah, Sam kicks Elizabeth out. Did I say that already? Because it needs to be said again. Uh, Back at the hospital, Anna thinks that the woman abducting Emma had something to do with her. Uh, Anna thinks... See, I'm going after Jason is exactly what she should do. It's not what Patrick wants to hear. Oh, she's talking to Patrick, by the way. And Anna tells him that he can't guilt her into staying, and he has to trust that Sam loves him. Uh, Sabrina shows up for her sonogram, and she cancels it. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me. Uh, Sabrina runs into Anna. Sabrina asks if there's any progress in finding Garlitz's killer, and asks Anna to keep her updated, and Anna is like, yeah, 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 and hurriedly leaves. Sam calls Patrick and tells him she didn't leave easily, but she has to help Jason, and she promises it doesn't change anything between them, and he's, like, he's more understanding, which is nice. Uh, end scene! Anna actually goes to see Dr. Maddox, wouldn't you know it? So that'll be interesting. I hope he's not some kind of double agent or Cassidyne person, because we just need, like, a straight-up good person on this show, and I feel like Dr. Maddox can be that person. Uh, Valerie clears up the email... Um, thing with Maxie and that was just about the ride along. Maxie tries to get in touch with Lulu before she confronts Dante way too late because of the time vortex that is Port Charles. Uh, Lulu says to Dante, you know, how can I trust you? You lied to me for months. You slept with my cousin. And Dante says, well, maybe we are done then. And Lulu looks devastated because, hello, she wants to have 
both sides of this conversation. And if he's not having the we should stay together side, then, yeah, not no bueno. Not good. That's the thing I've been saying lately. Don't ask. Uh, so Michael's at the hospital. And the nurse tells him Sabrina canceled the sonogram. And Sabrina runs into Patrick. He apologizes for putting her through what he did with Robin, like making her wait till he made a decision. Because, you know, he knows how it feels now. Uh, Spinelli equips Jason with everything he needs, including, like, a really fancy cell phone that'll, like, erase its tracks or whatever. And Jason asks who's paying for all this. And Spinelli's like, uh, you. I accessed your offshore accounts. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> and then Jason leaves. Elizabeth is back at Patrick's place because, again, nothing better to do with her day. Like, you have a job. You have three kids. Like, what are you doing with your life? Well, I guess the kids are at school. But still. Um, she wants to go after Jason with Sam because, what, she thinks if she can make herself into Sam that Jason will love her. Um, Sam gets a phone call. It's Spinelli. He tells her all she needs to know about... Uh, Jason going to Cassadine Island and everything, and he feels that Jason needs backup. So, this should be exciting, I think. I don't know. I'm nervous. Uh, but in any event, thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!